This video is one of the most important in a series on how to rebuild a Mercruiser 5.7 or 4.3 V6 engine. Um, reason, the reason being is that the decision discussed in this video is going to be one of the most important uh, factors that determines the quality of your uh, the quality of the engine build, and that factor is the uh, piston to wall clearance. Um, traditionally, you take your brand new pistons that you see in this box. These are Speed Pro. Um, Part number is H4, H423 DCP slash H640 DCP, and that was 030 oversized. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, but basically, um, to, traditionally, like I said, you, you buy your pistons and you take the pistons to the machine shop and they bore the cylinder to uh, achieve a certain piston to wall clearance that they sort of determine through smoke and mirrors or whatever. They really don't tell you how they do it. That's one of their trade secrets. And uh, you end up with a, a block that's been bored, supposedly to fit the pistons. However, this being for marine application and me reading lots of things about marine engines, uh, I didn't want to just trust the machine shop on this situation. So these are Speed Pro, uh, they're called Hyper, Hyper Eutectic Pistons. Here's the name plate on the box, uh, the, the tag on the box. And uh, they kind of give you a hint about what to do here. Um, they say the skirt size is 4.0287 plus or minus 0 0.00025 inches. So that means the max skirt size might be 4.02895, which is very close to 4.029, or it could be less than that. So. Um, what that means is if you bore this engine out to exactly 4.030 inches, you will end up with approximately a 0 0.001, one thousand of an inch, a little bit more than that, piston clearance. 1.00105, I think it is. So you'll end up with about approximately a point of one thousandth of an inch piston clearance. So that's kind of a hint as to what you want to do here, but that's not the whole story. So... Um, like I said, I wanted to determine the piston clearance, piston wall clearance myself, so I did a little research. And uh, uh, like, a, let me back up. So when you choose your piston wall clearance, it depends on a lot of factors. It depends on the piston material, it depends on the block material, it depends on the bore, it depends on the application, whether it's going to be nitrous, whether it's going to be supercharged, whether it's going to be uh, um, with a, um, natural aspirated, whether it's going to be a marine application. So the application, the intended racing, the application for the engine determines how much clearance you want to give. Typically, a high performance, heavy duty application, you give more clearance because the heat buildup will help the piston expand and take up some of the clearance. Um, and I felt like a marine application was kind of in that direction. So I didn't want to just trust the machine shop to build this and have them build it like a car engine. So I did a little research on the internet and um, I found, eventually found a site where the, the, one of the things I was looking for, because specifically I was hoping that the, the uh, let me back up, the, the manufacturer of this piston would tell me in the card they include with the pistons what the clearance should be. But all they say is, let me, I'll let you read it, but um, it says don't account for the coating basically, but... Um, the final thing it says is boring the engine to the final bore size indicated will result in proper piston to cylinder wall clearance. So what they're saying is if you bore it to 4.030, you'll end up with the proper clearance because the pistons are not, the pistons are undersized by the amount, the pistons are undersized by the amount of clearance they want it to have. So that's kind of what they're saying. So basically they're, what I just read to you off the nameplate is about approximately a thousandth of an inch clearance. I personally feel like that's a little bit too tight, but that's what they say to use. So anyway, um, going forward, as I was doing some research on the internet, I found uh, on a site called Chevelles.com where they mentioned that Mercruiser has been using these seal power hyper eutectic pistons for the last 20 years in their rebuilds. So that was a big help there. That was a clue. So, okay, if that's the fact, so now since that's what the tight pistons these are, all I need to do now, all I need to do now is find a Mercruiser engine specification for piston to wall clearance, and I will have nailed down the, the number I'm looking for. Well, I did find that. I looked on the internet some more and found under I think it's Performance Pro. I can't remember exactly, but I'll um, 
By the way, at the end of this video, I'm post a video or post a photograph of the the uh, site or cite the the Chevelle's uh, comment where they say you use uh, that they uh, use sealed power pistons and mercurizers, and then I'll cite another uh, uh, excerpt from another link uh, that I, where I found the specifications for the piston to wall clearance on mercurizer engines. So the combination of those two bits of information. Um, Help me figure out that the clearance on this engine needs to be 0 0.001 to approximately 0 0.002 max, two thousandths max. And for, I don't know if you know what that means, but that basically means that on either side of this piston, the piston's round, so it means on either side of this piston, you'll have a thousandth of an inch of clearance between the piston, the side of the piston and the, and the, the steel bore of the, uh, the piston bore. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it's basically 2,000 of an inch. So the Mercury specification was, I think, 0 0.001 to 0 0.0021 or something like that. So that's approximately what I, what I kind of kind of backs up what the manufacturer said a little bit more. Uh, me personally, since this is a marine application, I want to go with, uh, um, if I'm boring it out to, uh, battery, sorry, battery keeps going off. If I bore it out to 4.030, exactly which i've already instructed the machine shop to do i'll end up with 0 0.00015 or a little bit more than that if the piston is under that's the max that's the max bore of the piston if it's a little smaller than that then i'll end up with more clearance but i won't be more than 0 0.002 so the bottom line is that when you buy these pistons um, and this applies to both 5.7 mercruiser and 4.3 mercruiser with the seal power hyper hyper eutectic pistons Part number H four twenty three DCP or H four excuse me H six forty DCP, then borne out to four point zero three inches exactly will give you the right piston to wall clearance, and that's that's the bottom line. Um, backing up, the reason it says there's two part numbers on this piston is because this is used for both the V eight and the V six, and for some reason they have a different part number for the V six versus the V eight, but it's the same piston. Um, so. That's the, the wrap. Um, the bottom line is that uh, I'm going to have the in engine bored out to 4.030 inches exactly, and I'll end up with approximately 0.001 to 0 0.002 inches of piston to wall clearance. Um, incidentally, I happened to measure, I independently measured the, uh, the width of this piston with my own micrometer, and I came out with 4.028, so, and, uh, which was again 2,000 inch clearance so I independently verified that before I even found that information on the internet but I wanted I wanted to back it up with uh, some other information so because um, at the time I wasn't sure 4.030 was the right bore size but uh, it turns out that it is so um, bottom line 4.030 inches on a, a 30 over bore is what you want uh, this is very. Uh, this is one of the more important uh, things you'll need to know when you rebuild a Mercruiser engine. Thanks for watching.